Good morning, Junkaholics. Today, we're going to start ripping down this 9,000 pound generator. Why? I don't know. It's going to be a great day. It's minus 3. That's awesome. And we're in the shade. That's even better. But the good news is, is this thing is old, so you know all the bolts are going to be rusty. So that's fantastic. The only bad thing about today is we don't have 100 kilometer an hour winds blowing like we normally do. So, let's get at it. So I made a decision. We're going to rip apart the box is on top first. I've tried scrapping stuff from the bottom up and somehow I always get hurt. So this time we're gonna try the other way from the top down and see if gravity doesn't take effect in the same manner. And I also got new gloves, brand new gloves for the occasion. Don't get too excited. They're actually crap. I think I paid $10 for a six pair. That's fantastic. When you can't grab the bolts because the gloves don't allow you to. There you go. So we got some stuff in here. There's lots of wire, transformer, and da dee da dee dee, and a do to do do, and some more stuff there, and then some stuff there. Ooh, and then an instruction manual. That's kind of cool. Not. Um, then we've got some fuses. I better get a bucket. So I'm gonna start off with cutting all this wire out. I'm actually not going to bore you with this. This is cutting wire. So I'll be back. So we're back. I'm just going to tear this out. Check to see if this is copper. This is fun. Well, she appears to be aluminum, so that goes in the shred. Oh, there's some boards in there, transformer. Um, so that's definitely stuff that's going into the bucket that uh, I'll scrap it later. And here we've got, oh, we've got fuse holders. More fuse holders. <laughs> Some nice brass in there. Plastic. There's a whole bunch of dirty brass on there, so.
Now we're just gonna tear that stuff off and I'll be right back. So in here we got a transformer and a switch. That goes into the scrap later bucket. It's a little switch. There looks to be some copper or brass in there. So that's all stripped apart. We're just gonna pull this box off. This should just come off or not. right back for with the hammer. No. Oh, I see. That's some pretty heavy duty brackets. Now these brackets, they're gonna go into the prepared category, but this box more than likely is gonna be tin shred. So. Of course there's a, must be a bolt on the inside. I'll loosen them up anyways. Oh, that one came out. So, I decided to just take all the covers off of here. And it appears all these bars at the top are copper. The ones down below are not. There's some kind of a resin. But I would imagine all these lugs are either copper or brass. Uh, there's some bare bright, well, some number one insulated, but it's going to turn into bare bright. This will be, this big cable here is going to turn into um, bare bright. And then a whole bunch of insulated copper. And that appears to be some big old copper donuts so that's really cool um i'm just gonna take this apart and i'll give you an update oh when i cut this wire off this breaker box fell to its death that was a pretty bad installation but hey it makes it easier so end of day one we've got the boxes removed emptied just the uh, breaker box has to be done and what we've got so far is insulated wire and stuff that needs to be taken apart later um, so far this transformer is tested as aluminum now these Look like copper donuts, but look at the inside of them. If anybody can leave a bleep bloop in the comments, tell me what they are, that'd be great. Um, I think they are copper. Yeah, they are copper, I see ya. So maybe it is just a, a different kind of donut. So I'll have to take those apart. And we will see you in the morning. Good morning, John colleagues. It's the next day. 
and the plans are today is to pull this armature out. So, wish me luck. I just wanted you to know I have 10 fingers. Hopefully they're still there by the time this is done. Because that would be great. But if not, you know, stuff happens. And I'll do it for you. So what I did is I turned around and put this ratchet strap around this big heavy collar because I have to unbolt all of these bolts and get this off. And I'm thinking when I get that last bolt out, I want this to hold on to it. Then I can get out of the way and release the ratchet strap and it should come crashing down on its own. I also sprayed all these bolts, the ones in the center too, with some deep creep. Did that about 14.87 seconds ago. So that should be good. I would think. Well, peoples, I got the pizza plates off right down here. And uh, they were a bear to get off that, that shaft. So if anybody wants some slightly used pizza plates, leave a bleep blop in the comments. Um, got five of them, $75 for the set or a 52.76 each plus shipping just a thought anyways so I pulled the plates off and I found this salad slicer and I'm looking at this thing and correct me if I'm wrong guys but I think I can pull that armature off without pulling this ring which would make my life a lot easier so I think that's what we're going to try. So we're going to go unbolt the other end and uh, maybe set up the truck and give her a yank. What do you guys think? So we're back. She's gonna take the sand off. Look at that. There's another mower. What the? Help me understand. It is not exciting. Well, let's get tearing this thing apart. This is actually probably going to hold me up a little bit because I wasn't counting on this. And I have to get this apart before I can pull out the armature. Wow. So I guess my next plan is to unbolt this flange. And there's one, two, three, four bolts. And I'm hoping that will allow this 
to be taken off that way. Exposing that delicious motor we just found. And then we can get that off so we can pull the armature to get at that goodness. So the right, let's see. So right there would be one of the pads for the armature. There's four of those that go that length. But first we need to try and get this motor off. So I'm just gonna do that offline because there may be some religious words said doing this. So catch you soon. So that went way smoother than I thought. Um, those four bolts came out lickety split. So let's try to separate this and you guys need to warn me if anything bad is going to happen. So, we're down to plan C, which is actually plan A, but plan A turned into plan B because of the lettuce slicer, and then also we discovered the motor, so so actually the motor is what was, was caused plan B. So now, back to plan A, but we can't call it plan A because this would be plan C because because of plan B I noticed the it's one long armature so why can't we just pull it all out at one time right I'm glad you got that because it made no sense to me at all but I set up this camera here because I think this is gonna be the best seat in the house now I've got that strap tied behind the lettuce slicer going to the hitch on my truck and I'm thinking you should be able to see the motor the bonus motor drop as you see the armature being pulled out and maybe the strap breaking and going through the rear window of my camper. Why not? Okay, let's try this.
did nothing. Or did it? I don't know. I'm gonna leave the tension on here. I'm gonna grab a sledgehammer. I'm gonna beat on the back side. I can't seem to find my sledgehammer. So I'm gonna try with the three pound maul. I don't think that's gonna work. I think I gotta give it a few more tries. I think I see some movement. I think it's working. Yeah, it looks like we're going to try again. Well, this is not working out for me. If you have any ideas, um, make sure you bleep bloop in the comments. And I don't care. That is still some nice junk.